What's going on everyone? My name is Swiss and I'm glad to welcome you back to another brand new video on this channel. And a lot of people asked me. A lot of people asked me about the military. I have did some Q&A and a lot of questions dropped in about the military. How was it physically? How was it mentally for me? How were the exercises? Which weapons did we use? A lot of stuff. And I decided, yeah, this is a gameplay channel, but why not talking about the military stuff? Think it's kind of cool. And if you guys are interested, why not? Always feel free to ask me questions in the comments down below. And also one thing I have to mention is that I decided to do the Swiss military content also on my second channel. And a lot of people think, now, hey, what second channel? Yeah, I've got a Swiss German channel actually. And I will upload there these videos as well because I noticed that about Swiss military stuff, there's not a lot of content available on YouTube. There are not a lot of people talking about it. So I decided to do it for also for my country and so that's the reason why I upload also these kind of videos on my second channel on Swiss German it's the first link in the description down below if you're English yeah you don't have to subscribe over there but if you're German or Swiss German even then make sure to check it out definitely worth it so how did everything started with military yeah in Switzerland it's kind of a tradition to be fair yeah we, we can call it like that and a lot of civilians do military now we have a duty we have a duty in switzerland every male citizen with the switzerland citizenship is forced to go either to the military to do some civil duty this can be for some environment care like in the forest or also in hospitals to help the staff uh, in child care stuff yeah, all the social jobs that need some kind of support, some uh, some volunteers, yeah. So when you're a male, you can decide between the civil duty, the military, or um, it's also called Zivilschutz, uh, civil protection to be said. Um, it's for, yeah, like earthquakes and so on. They take care about that. They are not armored, um, they don't have weapons, they don't carry, carry weapons with them but they still do some civil protection yeah so you have the option between these three things and if you don't match to anything you can always go the way of not doing anything at all and then you just pay some higher taxes uh, till you reach some age but yeah those taxes they are pretty high i don't know the exact number maybe i find it then i will link you in the description down below but anyway yeah you have to pay some extra taxes if you don't do anything at all so when i was like 12 years old i started getting interested in like yeah on dinner table my father was always talking with me about he was in the military as well and for me at that time i was aiming also to go for the military i was interested in you can probably say because i was playing video games at that time i was interested in weapons yeah we can we can call it like that i was just I was just interested in that I was also interested in uh, the physical part the sports so I was interested in military definitely and I wanted to know more about it and my father did always recommend me to join the military just because I get out of my comfort zone and yeah when I was about 12 years old I already know I was aiming into that direction so the process went on and when you are about 16 17 years in switzerland you get the first uh, in invite from the government basically for something called orientierungstag in uh, swiss german um, translated it's called like orientation day it's one day that you go into the military not with clothing or anything like that you go as a civil mil uh, civil person into a military um, caserne and there you get instructed about the whole military process, about the different kind of uh, troops, the units, and also the whole recruitment process. That's one day, and as a male, you're forced to go. So on that day, I got a lot of information about everything, and I knew already in what kind of direction I was aiming to go. I didn't want to join something easy. That was clear for me because I wanted to go for something that is really a challenge for me a physical and psychological psychological challenge so i decided i want to aim into that direction i already knew a couple of units i was interested in and 
Then, after I got home on this day, I was looking in the internet and here I have to say, unfortunately, the official news and the official homepage of the Swiss Army, it's very outdated and you don't get proper information there. So I was looking into private forums and asked people in my environment, so I got all informations about it. But after this orientation day, it was basically clear for me that civil duty is not an option for me, that I definitely want to join the military. So after this orientation day, like one or two years later, when you reach the age of around about 18, then you go to the recruitment. And this is also obligatory for all males. It's two days. And what's happening in these two days? Now, there you get actually into the recruitment process. You have a sport screening or a sport test. Um, there it includes five disciplines. Uh, disciplines. If you are really interested in that, you can maybe ask in the comments down below. I could make a separate video about that. Why not? But to be to go into detail of all that would be way too long for this video. But you have some sport tests. Then you also have a screening in psychological stuff. This test, yeah, it's kind of easy to master. You're sitting on the PC and it asks you questions that are kind of obvious in which direction they go. So if you don't, if you want to join the military, uh, you definitely know how to fill this test. And also for the people who do not want to join the military, they also know exactly how do I have to set the crosses on this test so that they don't have to go. It's very easy. So basically you are forced to go into something, in either civil duty or military, but you can control it. People who do not want to go, they just write uh, the stuff um, that the military doesn't want to hear on the psychological test and they're dropped out. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. If they don't want to join, they won't. That's the basic fact. Yeah, that's how it is. So yeah, in those two days you also sleep in the caserne. And for some people it's actually the first time not sleeping at home. And yeah, there were a couple of funny stories there. But overall I did enjoy these two, uh, two days in this caserne, in this military environment. And I know for sure and I got closer to my decision, which was I want to go to the military police. I was um, in nursing care at this time and I still am. So the military saw that because you have to bring all your documents, all your papers of the current education and school education that you have. So they saw, okay, he's working in nursing, he's a medic. So what the guy said to me, and this is coming at the end, you have a private talk with a recruitment officer and he does the final uh, step basically to say, okay, you're going into this unit or the other thing, okay, you're not joining us. And you go to civil duty or you pay the taxes. So at the end of these two days, I was into his office with the youth recruitment officer and he was seeing in my documents, of course, okay, he was nursing. And I knew the medic unit wasn't for me because I didn't want to do something in military that I was also doing in civil life already. So I didn't want to be a full-time medic. I wanted to go into some combat unit. I told this the officer and he was like, mm, yeah, but you have this uh, nursing care education already. You have to send you to the medics. And I was like, no, I want to go into some fight unit. Then we came to a deal, which was a very nice deal for me and probably the best decision I could have made. And also the best decision he could uh, gave me the best opportunity. And he said, okay, you can join the military police. It's it's basically a fight unit, you will get a lot of action there, but your, um, your role into the unit um, is still paramedic. And that was completely fine for me because um, I was not spending 18 weeks of poor medic education, I was spending 12 weeks of military police education and only 6 weeks of combat medic training, which is a lot different to the actual medic training. There's a lot of difference between medic and combat medic. And I was a combat medic. So yeah, the goal for me and the things I got uh, teached in that school was a lot of different to normal medic school. It was way more combat focused and nothing compared to civil life. So overall, that was the best decision for me. I was very hyped. I was 18 years at that time and I know, okay, at the age of 19, it will start and I will join the military police. 18 weeks full, I was excited for that. 
And that was the end of my full recruitment process. Those were my thoughts. And if you're interested more about the full education in the military police, actually, then let me know in the comments down below. I can sure make more videos about that if I see you guys are interested in. As always, thanks for watching. We're hopefully gonna see us in the next one. Till then, peace out.